Patanjali Chaman Prash Pro Wrestling League Season 3 mein Devil Sachano ab waqt hai mahilaon ki 50 yani ke 50 kg varg kushti ka NCR Punjab Royals ki aur se aa rahi hai Bharatiya Mool ki Nirmala Devi Patanjali Chaman Prash Pro Wrestling League Season 3 mein mahilaon ke 50 kg varg kushti mein veer marathas ki or se aa rahi hain bharatiya mool ki ritu phoga this women's 50 kilograms a really interesting contest Nirmala Devi very experienced 33 years old going up against uh, a second Pogat sister she lost uh, to Vinay one and now she's up against Ritu uh, the third of the sisters they both fight at the same weight the two Pogat sisters in different teams of course ever she's 23 year old she's 10 years younger the referee Abdullayev uh, from Russia and we're joined for this one by the irrepressible Sail <laughs> well thank you so much for welcoming me that was a very warm welcome exactly but i'm waiting for the games to get hot this one is going to be a hot favorite isn't it really interesting bout because uh, Nirmala Devi has all the experience but she really got a hammering in that round Vinesh. one match from Vinesh and now the other Fogat sister determined to emulate her sister it feels like Nirmala is against all the Fogats <laughs> well one after the other i hope Nirmala is uh, going to turn the table around and take this bout away from the hands of Ritu because that will make it more interesting because the tie will get into a better shape then Well, this would be the decisive match it could be if uh, Punjab Royals Nirmala could win it they've got the match so uh, really from the Nirmala's point of view Ritu Fogat desperate to come up with a result for them and keep them in it so take this through into the seventh spot in her head ritu is still thinking the famous dialogue of her film dangal ke ab dangal hoga <laughs> she is waiting for that to happen while well, both of them are very experienced nirmala a little more than ritu for sure uh, 10 years age gap what does that experience say about them and uh, ritu was going for the leg hold but the experience of nimala devi has turned the tables on her The take down there for a two pointer she's desperately trying to get a grip that will allow her to roll her over can't do it back to their feet in the middle but first points to Nimala Devi will have to be content by two points itself it was a very slick and smart move and finally made her position and Nirmala firmly holding the ground and the grip on Ritu Mulu excel around 2 minutes already gone in this bout Well, this seems to be a headlock or a handlock some kind of lock i hope somebody has the key or referee does al nirmara running away from ritu's hands ritu is trying to take a grip and probably going for a takedown Gets the grip now. She's desperately trying to turn her opponent. She's in the danger position. It's already that two points. Can she take her over? Almost got her over into a pinfall position. Still going for it. Ritu going for broke here. 
trying to finish it off. She gets round behind again. Does she take her opponent down, turn it into four? No, she hasn't. Great defense from Nirmala Devi there, Sunil. Well, this move could have been really harmful. Uh, Ritu, her first attack and actually going for the kill could have been a pinfall, but a danger position. Before getting into a danger position, Nirmala got herself back and now safe on the mat on her two feet. And relief there for Nimala Devi as we come to the last couple of seconds of the round. Thanks for that, Sahil. We'll um, catch up with you later, but you've got other engagements that you've got to go. The very crucial second round, and in which if Nirmala Devi prevails, Punjab Royals get the victory. Ritu Fogar uh, gets the better of Nirmala Devi, the 33-year-old policewoman. And looking on is uh, Vasileza, uh, the captain, because she knows that she wants Ritu Fogart to win. And Ritu Fogart has to take the initiative. It's, of course, level at present, a two-all. Vasileza clapping, cheering her opponent. And Ritu Fogart determination sparkle in her eyes. Nirmala Devi. Now using all her skill to foil Ritu Fogat. So John, a very interesting bout between youth and experience. Yes, indeed, Novi. Everybody aware of the huge amount sitting on the result of this bout. Vimaratas either still in it or they've lost the match. And uh, now, can Ritu Fogat get round behind? She does indeed. She's nearly there. Oh, I set this. Uh, she's turned it round on her. And a brilliant defence turned into attack by Nimala Devi. Gets the two points for the takedown. And for a moment, Ritu Fogat definitely in danger of a thin fall. And now Nimala Devi trying to turn her again. Referee gives her plenty of chance and then says no. And it's still everything to fight for, just two points out of all that. This was where Ritu was momentarily in a real danger position there. Yes, you're dead right, John. She was in danger over here. Just one and a half minutes left. And Punjab Royals, Nirmala Devi, she's taken the lead against yeah, Ritu Fogart, the third of the sisters. Now it's 5-2. Ritu gets two points, makes it for a cliffhanger of a finish. It's excellent speed and explosive action by Ritu. Again, nearly pin Nirmala Devi, who turns over. Unlucky there. She couldn't get the rollover to add another two points before they went into the protection area. In fact, she did. So it was another two points. So 6-5 now to Ritu Fogat. John, is it the trend continuing? The women brought victories for Veer Marathas, uh, Marwa Amri, Vasilisa, and is now Ritu Fogat continuing the Fogat sisters' supremacy over Nirmala Devi. Ritu Fogat, definitely uh, the more aggressive now of the two. Nirmala Devi knows she's got all to do. The last 50 seconds here is another takedown. I think more points for Ritu. It's a push out. Yes, one point raised. Seven five. Is that John? What she's done in the end is settled for a push out. Didn't quite get her opponent down in time to uh, take the two points. Blue. Six five. It's a, a terrific battle. This and now suddenly again it's uh, Nirmala Devi. Desperately trying to turn her opponent. Is she going to manage it? The referee giving her a chance says no. Back to your feet. 20 seconds left. Ritu Fogat. That slenderest of margins. 
can she hold her opponent off she goes for the leg hold Nimala Devi gets her on top of it she's got to turn around oh and she does two points and Nimala Devi has taken this one two more though again to Ritu Fuga she's turned her opponent in comes a challenge from Nimala Devi's corner now really wonderful action there first of all it looked as if Nimala Devi had plucked the contest out of the fire got the two points by turning her opponent over which was brilliant and then the counter-attack from Ritu Fogat got two points for her as well and that's what they're challenging yes John that's what they're challenging Explosive action in the end. Here is the attempt to turn her over, but Ritu Fogat has got Nirmala Devi in all sorts of trouble over here. Did the bell go? Did the six rounds get over? That's Nirmala Devi's two points, but Ritu Fogat comes back strongly. She's a tigress. Has she got the last two points? That's what's to be decided. Well, the challenge is in there. And the jury looking at all the action there it all comes down to the way the judge awarded the points on that final attack and counter the judge went two each which left Ritu Fugat 8-7 in the lead and 2-2 two, two it is so that will stand And Ritu Fogat gets it. They have confirmed those two points to each wrestler. Nimala Devi looks very, very unhappy, but Ritu Fogat is the winner, and that keeps Veer Maratas in this match. And so, continuing the trend of the women winning three bouts for Veer Maratas, this time will be decided by the final bout that's it, ultimate confirmation. Ritu Fogat winning by points difference over a very unhappy 33-year-old Nirmala Devi. And of course it goes to 9-7 because uh, when you put a challenge in, if you fail with that challenge, which they did, your opponent is awarded an extra point. The real match score, 8-7, it couldn't have been tighter. Uh, but going out to 9-7 because of that unsuccessful challenge. There's the tie score, all leveled up at three bouts each and just the men's 74 kilograms to go between two Indian wrestlers, uh, Jitenda and Pavin Rana. Wonderful action and I'm sure a very, very disappointed Nermala Devi. Let's join Poppy at the mat. जिसे कहते हैं एज ऑफ द सी ड्रामा 10 सेकंड खत्म होने में लगे थे मैच के और अभी तक हमें कुछ नहीं मालूम था कि कौन जीतने वाला है ऋतु आपने अपनी टीम को एक और सांस दे दी वरना पंजाब जीत जाती जब आपका मैच को जब चैलेंज किया गया था तब आपको मालूम था कि आप जीत जाएंगे नहीं क्योंकि ये मैट है इस पे कब कुश्ती पलट जाए दस सेकंड का भी नहीं पता लेकिन मैंने अपने जो बेस्ट दिया और जिसकी वजह से मैं लास्ट के दस सेकंड में जीत पाई क्या घर से विनेश ने आपको बता के भेजा था कि निर्मला देवी के साथ ऐसे लड़ना तो आप जीत जाएंगे मेरी सभी सिस्टर मुझे मतलब कुश्ती से कंपटीशन से पहले एडवाइस देती हैं कि क्या कुछ करना है हालांकि सिस्टर मेरे साथ रहती हैं आज वो यहाँ पर नहीं है तो मैं थोड़ा कंफर्टेबल महसूस नहीं करी थी लेकिन यहाँ पे जितने लोगों ने मुझे सपोर्ट दिया उसके लिए मैं सभी का बहुत धन्यवाद करती हूँ उन्होंने मेरी मतलब सिस्टर की कमी नहीं करने दी आप इतनी काम एंड कूल रहती हैं जब आप मैच नहीं खेल रही होती और जैसे ही आप मैट पे जाती हैं इतने गुस्से में इतने एग्रेशन में खेलती हैं ये गेम ही ऐसा कि अगर जिस पहलवान में गुस्सा नहीं है तो वो शायद पहलवान नहीं है क्योंकि यहाँ पर एग्रेसिव होना बहुत ज़रूरी है Congratulations very much, Ritu. एक बात मैं आपको बता देती हूँ ऋतु के बारे में ऋतु लंच में सिर्फ गोलगप्पे खाती हैं। तो वो सारे माता पिता जो सोचते हैं गोलगप्पे खाने से रेसलर नहीं बन सकते वो सब गलत है थैंक यू ओवर एंड आउट